to quickly cook around today and the motivation for that is I've got five cockles running around in the garden which we need to eat. Now I don't really know what to do with them so I've gone to a traditional cockle dish. I'm hoping everyone's going to like it. I've never cooked it before. In the pan I've got pork belly and a dozen um, pickled onions browning. When they're brown I'm going to pull them out and brown the, the cockle. The cockle's been hung for a day. It's also been marinated in red wine for 24 hours and now I've got it dusted in flour. So that's brown nicely. Look, we're going to take these out, pop them to one side and put in the chicken, the brown. Now I'm not adding any extra fat. The fat has come from the pork belly. I'm going to brown it in batches because I want the pan to stay nice and hot. I'm using the whole cockle. I uh, took the breast off the carcass and then I've left the thighs and the drumsticks on the bone. Now the meat meat is all nicely brown. I'm right, going to put into the oil two bay leaves and a teaspoon of thyme or half a teaspoon of thyme oh. and mushrooms I'll leave those sweat for a little bit before I put the meat back in so you can hear it popping that's um because the pan's hot but the bay leaves are fresh I picked them off the tree this morning it's time to have the meat I'm just going to pop those on the mushrooms and once that's all in, I'm going to pour on top the red wine from the marinade and then I'm going to add this, some chicken stock which I made from the carcass and there goes the red wine and that will deglaze the pan smells lovely. So I'm just going to cover it with chicken stock made fresh yesterday from the carcass. Make sure the meat's covered. And that is going to go into the oven for two, two and a half hours or until the meat is falling off the bone and is lovely and tender. So it's been in the oven now for the best part of three hours and I'm just going to remove all the meat and reduce the gravy a little bit. So the meat's wonderful and tender it's just fallen off the bone. Mm. Got a real rich, deep taste to it. So now we've got to do is reduce the gravy, make some mash, boil a veg, and we'll plate up. Yeah, time to plate up. Dollop of mash. Nice bit of leg. Bit of breast. Beautiful. Some green beans. A 
onions and over and the mushrooms. Lovely. And then to top it off, drizzle the gravy. Beautiful. So there we have it. Cocklevar, my mashed potato, cream beans and carrots. Thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe and I'll catch you again soon.